Welcome. We're heading to the Sunshine Coast, but we are not taking you to the Big Pineapple. So, we've left Carnarvon and driven out and now gone to the gravel pit. Around to Moira. From Moira, we head through Bundy and down at Thompson's Crossing in Barambo. Then we head back out to Gympie all the way down to Maroochydaw and stay in our lovely resort at the River Shore. Once we've finished at the River Shore, we go on to Budrum and see the waterfall there and camp at Little Yabba. in a gravel pit. We left Takaraka yesterday and we only traveled 50 k's and we found a nice camp in amongst the trees. I'll show you those. But we kept getting smoke and when Carl went out at what nine o'clock? Yeah. What did you see? Fire. So he packed us up and moved us out to a bit of a clearing in the gravel pit. Just in case and yeah we were ready to roll if we had to so yeah it was a bit uh hairy being that we were in amongst all this really dry grass and the hill over there was what was on fire so yeah just being precautious had a nice afternoon there and now we're just getting ready we made it through the night and now we're heading off Mura Apex Rest Area is a really nice area. It is right beside the road, but we thought the traffic was not too bad at all, especially if you're in a van. If you're in a tent, well, obviously it's a little bit louder, but we would highly recommend this as a great stopover in your travels. There was hundreds of swallows under the bridge busily working on their nests and going about their normal lives. Tonight, we are gonna have camp oven roast for dinner. So, that calls for a fire. And, we better get going, otherwise we won't have enough coals.
this out. Hillbilly camp oven. I like it. We are going to have roast lamb with garlic, rosemary, some pepper, and some sweet paprika rubbed in. So it's going to be nice. So there's our roast lamb shoulder, all ready to go. So that's going to go on for uh, an hour or so. Then I'll put some potatoes on in the veggie ring and we'll let it cook. And I'll show you how it turns out. Veggies all loaded up on the veggie ring, which is going to go in the top of the camp oven so that they can cook and then later brown up. So we should have nice crunchy potatoes and veggies. Should we have a look at the roast? For sure. For sure? Let's have a little look. Quarter time. Ooh, looks good. Yum. Veggies, veggies. Ooh, she's warm over here. Jeez, sure is. What do you call that, love? Roast. <laughs> Ooh. A bit of cream fell in there. Ooh, veggies, nice. Dinner's still coming along. Woohoo! Yum. Yum. Hopefully. Hopefully. The meat is a little bit brown on the top, but that's okay. I've just checked dinner and it looks okay. I've just taken the coals off the top, but I'll show you what it looks like. Yum. Meat's a little bit too brown, but it looks lovely. So we're just going to have that with some beans. We'll carve it up and have a look, hey? Wow, look at that. Look at that. But let's do the taste tests. <laughs> Catherine's up for the taste test. Oh, apparently I am. Get a nice piece. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 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 Tastes good, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. It's yum eyes. <laughs> it's a bit hard to carve it because it was a shoulder. Delicious. We're leaving. Thompson's Crossing at Baramba Creek and we're going to head into Rivershore Resort, a real resort. Woohoo! Let's Yay! go! <laughs> it was low. <laughs> the reason we've ended up at the Sunshine Coast was because the caravan was due for a service. But in addition to that, we did some off-grid improvements to our van. So we've hung out at the Rivershore Resort until all those tasks were completed. Waterfalls! <laughs> so we're at the Budrum Forest Park Waterfalls. I'm excited. I am too, and it's sort of warm. It's not stinking <laughs> hot, but it's warm. And there's no other people. There's no other people. And we've just packed up camp at Rivershore and headed straight here to check it out. Yep. Water. Oh, lizard. <laughs> it's not a snake. It's not a snake. <laughs> Thank 
back on. Straight away. Mm -hmm. Pretty. Beautiful. Oh, look, there's even like a beach, a rock beach. <laughs> I've never really been the one who's worried Always been the one who's keeping it cool The kind of guy who chill while others hurt me I didn't know that I've been the fool I've been telling lies about something real But I know love is based on honesty Kept thinking how real love should feel Knowing that it's not just you, it's me Cause I was made to be free back again <laughs> except this time with a four ton caravan <laughs> how pretty is it though i would suggest that it's going to be a substantial waterfall because we had to climb so high i suggest we don't do the razorback anymore i'm sorry I need to mark that road somehow so that we never take it again.
This is pretty, isn't it? We will not be taking you on the Great Walk. It's 58 kilometres across the hinterland. Kilometers, 4.6 kilometers. Jeez, it's warm, man. And we're wearing hiking shoes today. Yeah. Just a hiking man. <laughs> Can we get it with a bridge here? Beautiful. Just done an epic tiny walk. It was about 300 meters. <laughs> <laughs> G'day everyone, we're currently at Condalilla Falls in the hinterland near the Sunshine Coast and it's magnificent, super scenic. Worth the drive. It is, it's lovely. <laughs> but don't really tow your caravan up here because it's steep as hell. <laughs> we'll show you that video. <laughs> yeah, it is super steep. We're in first gear and we nearly couldn't get going in first gear, so super steep. And the poor people that were stuck behind us. But anyway. That's the way it goes. They <laughs> got to enjoy the scenery. When you got a truck and a van, <laughs> you can only go so fast. Steps again. <laughs> Look at this walking track. It's quite, imagine all the water that would run down here. Oh, jeez. Wow, when it's been raining. Yeah. It would pour down. Across the track, off the edge. Condaella Falls, height 80 metres. Aboriginal word means rushing water. Well, there's certainly and plenty of that. I wasn't quite expecting that. That is huge, isn't it? Yeah. Hmm. Amazing. And we come over those rocks there. Look, you can see where it goes. Sort of. Yeah. The whole thing. Very lush and pretty and green and rainforesty and all sorts. And butterfly. And steps.
Hey everyone, we have camped at Little Yabba Campground, it's a free one and it's quite busy, just uh, be warned, but it is lovely, I can see why it gets so busy. So there's actually a walk uh, which will take you through, which is the Fig Walk and there's a nice little creek to go swimming in, toilets, barbecue and picnic area. Wait for me to get to you. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> there you go. Oh, miss, it's on the floor, babe. Good girl. Food whisperer. Yeah, and it's her baby that's carrying on in the background. the fig tree walk at Little Yabba Creek just outside of Kenilworth. Mountain Bay fig, giant stinging tree. I want to see what that is. Black bean, white cedar, flutter gum, brown tulip oak and pick a bean palm. Oh that's why we're supposed to wear shoes. Why? Prevention is better than cure. Close shoes for the sting. If stung, use adhesive products, sticky tape or hair removal strips to remove the fine stinging hairs. Hmm. Oh, well, let's not do that, hey? Let's check it out. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like trying to pick my feet up. <laughs> wow, look at it though. The Roots. The roots are just wild. Oh, this is the stinging tree. Oh. It says that insects feel sting the same way we do. black bean tree up there. Birds everywhere. Look at them. Big it is. Yeah, thick across the top. Holy dooly, watch out they're stinging. Eggs. It just constantly sounds like it's raining. Mm. It is. This fig is still young enough that the host tree it began growing on is still alive. Huh. You can see where the fig first started to grow high up on the host tree. That's the host tree that's sticking out. Oh, it's to nice. the left. Yeah. Wow. Huh. Huh. 
I like that it's a host tree. Like, I don't know that it wanted to invite them. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing, <laughs> amazing. And what's your name? Sorry, we didn't. Trevor. 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 And Carl and Catherine. Oh, well done. Thank you. Amanda. Amanda. My mummy said this was okay. <laughs> I'm sure she did. episode we swing by a few national parks and check them out then we head to somewhere that is really special only two of these environments exist in the whole world we hope you can join us around our Aussie one <laughs> <laughs>